Hey everybody, it's me, Crystal. And I'm here with yet another Crystal's Food Review, Crystal's Food Reviews and Other Things. And today, there ain't no other thing. There's just me. And you're just gonna have to deal with it. Am I cranky? A little bit. I woke up later than I should have. I woke up at 11 and uh, should have got up at 9 because I have uh, errands to do. And you might be thinking, what kind of errands, Crystal? Well, I'm about to go on tour with my cousin Tammy and um, I got to get baby wipes to wipe my behind. I got to get a modium uh, for obvious reasons and um, condoms because we're on tour. Anyway, um, today's food is from a place that's local, family owned. They've been in business for a long time. I'm not sure how long. It's called Bus Loop Burgers. You can see here, Bus Loop Burgers. And this is an Oreo shake that I got to uh, clean my palate before I eat this food. We want to clean your palate. Kind of like when you eat. Okay, let's just let the emergency vehicles go by. Alright, and they have given me an extra large straw so that I can suck uh, the creamy whiteness out of this. Uh, damn, I can't even get it in there. Damn. Alright, we're going to have to take the top off because that just ain't doing the job. Okay. I want to get that everywhere, so I'm going to try this to clean my palate. As you can see, it's very thick and delicious. Stirring it. Mmm. Mm. They got to give you the big straw so you can suck up the... Now, why would she pull up right next to me? There's a whole parking lot. And she's going to pull up right next to me. Mm. Big straw. Allowing for... Look at my nails, y'all. This looks terrible. I'm going to explain what happened to my nails. So... I went and got some fake nails, you know, done. Real long. And I loved them. They was beautiful. I did different designs on each one. Maybe a butterfly, a Tweety Bird, Tasmanian Devil, Pooh Bear, Tinkerbell. Uh, who did I have on this one? Just a little, uh, just a cute little, like, Panda Bear, nondescript. Um, Minnie Mouse, Mickey Mouse, a Pokemon. I had a Pokemon on here. I don't remember which one. Maybe Pikachu. And then this one just had a C for Crystal. So I got my nails done. And then I had to take them off because they was getting too long. And my nails was growing underneath. And it was dirty. And probably some doo-doo under there. And um, this is what happened. They looked terrible. So if you're if you're gonna get your nails done, you gotta get them taken off. Look what's gonna happen to you. I'm not trying to scare you, but damn. All right. Anyway, Busted Loop Burgers does not have a name on their bag, which I like. But you know what they do have? Grease. You know what that grease says? This food is good. You'll never find a hamburger like this anywhere in town and let's open it up and you know me I'm a big packaging gal I like to see packaging I like to see what different places uh, choose for their packaging what kind of you know designs they gonna put on there so I just got a single burger and they're known for their burgers. They have wings too, but it's these burgers right here. And there was three little nice little teenagers working in there. 
and they say good morning miss crystal here's your food and you know what i like about this burger already nobody has stepped on it it's intact and i got all the fixings lettuce tomato cheese mayonnaise mustard that is really good mm. all right dripping all over my new shirt i got my sturdy gal shirt on damn in purple sturdy gal a sturdy gal is a gal like me that's big and sturdy, which means let's say somebody's pushing past you. If you're at the subway, I, I'm never in a subway, but if you go in a subway to catch a train and somebody's pushing, pushing past you to get the, to the next train, if you're sturdy like me, ain't nobody pushing past you. Nobody. Damn, what in the hell is going on? This is a police car. And see, he's going that way, and then the other emergency vehicle is going that way. So there's lots of emergencies on each side of me. Mmm. Oh. Bust Loop Burgers ain't playing. When they say they have good burgers, they ain't lying. Mmm. Damn. And I've been going to them for years. There's really nice people. They got a boat of fries. And when I say boat, they call these things boats. Mm. Now that cop going back that way, he must be lost. Sir, get it together. And they gave me, this is what I love about Bus Loop. They throw your fries in there. And guess what? Bag fries. You think you're done with your little boat. You ain't. Look in the bag, baby. You got bonus. Bonus fries. That feels kind of weird to be sitting here by myself doing this. Usually I got somebody screaming in my ear, my, my little Jim screaming in my ear, or Harry or Tammy or somebody. Ooh. Mm. The one thing that I don't like about this place, and this has just been since COVID, this really ain't got nothing to do with them. I had to get a bottle of soda. Now you know me, I love a fountain soda. I love a fountain soda. But ever since COVID, they don't let you use the uh, self-serve soda pop machine. I think they should make a special They should make a special uh, case for me. Because I ain't sitting here trying to eat up, drink a bottled soda. Orange Crush. Only 270 calories. That ain't nothing. Oh my God. As you can see behind me, we have Papa John's. We got a little uh, hair cutting place for man's. What's that other place called? It's a clothing store. It's like City Trends. City Gear. I'll have to go in there and see if they have anything to fit me. I doubt it. Let's see all the people going up in there. They love it. Mmm. Mmm. 
Mm, damn. Well, I was, I was just with Tammy this weekend. We was doing some filming, but also we have um, the tour coming up. Like I already said, I keep saying that because I don't want people to be like, "Oh, I didn't know you was in my town. I didn't know you was here. You was there." Well, we're gonna be there. And coming up specifically is Denver. And you know what they got in Denver? Mountains. All around. You look that way, a mountain. You look that way, a mountain. And I was there. I've been there multiple times. Damn, I'm making a mess. And I got... I can't be going out in public like this. Look at my shirt. The last time I was there with my friend Harry, we went to what's called a hot springs. And what it is is these spring waters come up out the earth. And then these places monopolize on that. Take that spring water, put it in a thing, charge you a lot of money and then you go sit in them well the one place we went to I forget what it was called they got a swimming pool with the hot mineral water they got um, like a little room you can go in and you put mud all over you and stand there and look stupid um, for a while but it felt good except they didn't have no places to sit down let me fix my glasses um, and then the thing I really loved was called a cave and they separated the men from the women and that's because you could get naked in there. Now they acting like this is the 1800s where men ain't seen women naked. I don't give a damn. I'll get naked in front of anybody and if you get hard, that's your own fault. So Harry went in the men one and I went in the women one. So I go in there and they got like three levels. They got like a little swimming pool here, here, here. And the one at the end is supposed to be the hottest. And I don't know how hot it was, but I couldn't get past the second one. I'd sit in there and I'd be going. It felt like I was giving birth, you know, cause it was so hot. But I tell you what, any ailments you got, them spring water's gonna fix them. Cause my sciatica was killing me. As soon as I got in that water, bam. Instant healing. Now, did it hurt when I got out? Yes. But while I was in it, I was good. So, we'd sit in there a while. Of course, you can't take your phone because people say, they're trying to take pictures of my private parts or whatever. So, I'd meet my friend out there and, and I'd say, oh, let me get 10 more minutes. I'm telling you, I drank about 15 gallons of water in there because I was about to pass out. That's how hot they are. Anyway, this burger is doing me good. Lord, I can't believe I got to go out like this. Let's try this boat again. So, would highly recommend a hot spring. I'm trying to think what that one was called. That gal is just a talking to herself. I feel you, sister. She just, she hearing something. I think it was called Indian Springs. And I will say this, if you are have trouble getting up and down steps don't go there because they don't got no elevator it's steps and these steps have been there since they they created the place so it is not accessible i'll say that they need to work on that they need to do better as tammy would say do better mm. Mm. I'm going to do a thumbnail. Mm. Let me fix 
fix my glasses. So you can see my eyes, my beautiful eyes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Cheese, cheese, oh. I hope it took. Mmm. 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 Damn, it tastes just like an Oreo. They ain't using Hydrox. Or whatever them nine name brand ones are. Mmm. 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 There's been a lot going on with me. Filmed. Baby Oopsie episodes three through uh, five or six. I can't remember. There's so much going on. Um, let's see. And, um, and Tammy Bangs. Been traveling all over the place. Um... Getting a root can root canal tomorrow. You know how I love dental work. You know, you just get a tooth, you get your tooth fixed. Next thing you know, you turn around, you gotta get another tooth fixed. So keep watching these videos so I can get my teeth fixed. It's just never ending. And it's expensive. Jim just got her teeth fixed. And uh The fellow that did it, I think, gave her a discount, but even to get one cavity fixed, it's a fortune. Mm. <coughs> I see over here in my neighborhood, they're starting to decorate for Easter. Everybody loves Easter because you know, the children love to go out and find an egg. And we were these kids. It wasn't my mama that did it. It was my friend's mama. She put a $20 bill in a little egg. She put a $1 bill, a quarter, a piece of candy, a little toy. And they had a large yard. And then the mama would go out there and hide all these little eggs and I swear to God my friend his name was Jason he'd get every good egg every $20 bill every dollar bill and I'd get the quarter and maybe a, a little pack of Smarties who wants to eat a Smartie besides Paige Jen Smarties are nasty that ain't candy if I wanted to eat a piece of chalk, I'd go back to second grade. Not that I ate chalk back then, but it did cross my mind as a child because it looked good. You know, a little white piece of chalk. Just take a, a chomp out of it. Remember when the, remember when you'd be sitting in class and your teacher would be like, hey, a little crystal come up here and do two plus two and you got to hold that piece of chalk you felt like you was on top of the world when you got to hold the chalk you felt like you was the most important person in the world and then if the teacher had one of them special chalk holders where they didn't have to get their fingers dirty you thought you was the president might as well have been. And then to be able to just write on the chalkboard that usually the teacher was the one commandeering it. It's a special day. A really special day. And kids these days don't understand that because they got smart boards and also they got um, dry erase. Which is good. Dry erase is real nice, but when you could when you could take that piece of chalk and just write there was no other feeling in the world and i'd stay behind you know because i went to a catholic school i'd stay behind um <clears throat> school 
and I'd help my teacher clean up because I love my teacher in uh, fifth grade. What was her name? Miss Howe. Her name was Miss Howe. She was also our basketball coach and our PE uh, teacher, but that don't make no difference. When Miss Howe would, you know, say it's time to go, I'd say, Miss Howe, can I please stay and help? And I'd take the erasers. Well, first I'd take the erasers and set them aside. Then I'd get a, a washcloth. I had a little bucket, a washcloth, bring it out, and go like this over the whole chalk tray that's on the board and just clean it have it sparkling you know take each little piece of chalk out put it over here and just clean it then i take that same rag and and do this on the chalkboard all the way across until it was sparkling clean and of course they had janitors to do this but why i have the janitor to do it when i could do it when I wanted to be teacher's pet for Miss Howe. And the teacher say, why did you erase that? I needed that for tomorrow. And you feel like a real asshole. But at the end of the day, when you could stand back and look at that clean chalkboard with not a mark on it, it'd bring a tear to your eye. And then I take the erasers, right? Take them outdoors. You had to do this part outdoors. Take the erasers, and we had a little carry bucket, and just bang them damn things together. Get all the chalk out. Why this was an approved method of cleaning cleaning an eraser, I don't know, but that's what we did. We just hit them together to all the chalk dust get out. Then I go back upstairs. Miss, how you need me to do anything else? And at the time. I thought she really wanted me to be there. I thought she wanted to be my friend, talk to me. But now that I think about it as an adult, she probably wanted me to get the hell out of there. You know, she was trying to grade papers or whatever, or probably go home and have a drink, knowing teachers. Teachers love to drink. Sometimes she'd let me stay, and I'd get that giant broom that had the like a dust broom that had a thing that was this big and I'd go all around the classroom get all the dust up, all the pencil shavings, all the little pieces of paper, boogers, whatever and I'd just sweep up and that's what I would do and you might be saying, Crystal, why do you just want to go home? Well, my home life wasn't all that great okay, I'd rather be at school cleaning up than getting home and you know, getting into trouble and getting whoopings and everything. At least when I was at school, I wasn't getting my ass whooped. You know what I'm saying? They didn't allow that at my school. And then the kicker, the kicker for the chalkboard. Mmm. I say, Miss Howe, can I please write the date on the board for tomorrow? Sometimes she say yes. So I'd do it real nice. Make a nice four slash seven slash eighty-five. Oh, that looks perfect. Then underneath I'd write in cursive. In the nicest cursive you've ever seen. Thursday. T. H U R S D A Y Thursday. Don't underline or nothing. Just stand back and look at it. Mm. Look at your work. And thank God it wasn't a Wednesday because Wednesday's a hard word to spell. It don't make no sense. Then you come to school the next day and just stand there and look at it. Yep, I did that. I wrote that date up there, y'all. Look what I did. Miss Howe let me clean the chalkboard yesterday. Then, of course, they want to get in on my little side business, even though I wasn't getting paid. Oh, I want to stay behind and uh, clean the chalkboard. No, that's my job. Find you another job. Pass out papers like this. This is how they pass out papers in school.
That was a good job to have though, because you want to lick your finger. Or you stand in the front of each little desk row and go one, two, three. How many people? One, two, three, four, five. Even though you knew. One, two, three, four, five. And then you take that little stack and put it under. And they have to pass it backwards. And then you go to the next desk. How many people? One, two, three. Even though you knew it was Rhonda, Kathy, and Josh sitting in that row. One, two, three. Okay. Put that there. Go to the next row. How many? One, two, three, four. Oh, there's someone exit. One, two, three. One, two. Can you put this extra one on his desk so that he has it when it comes tomorrow? Thank you. And you thought you was the teacher. The greatest days of my life. Loved it. Never got in trouble at school. Ever. I think I did a couple times, but then I'd be boo-hooing. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Don't take my job away from me. I'm trying to think of what other jobs we had. There was the recess bucket. I didn't care for that job. Where you had to put all the balls and jump ropes. So you can have that job. Just let me go out and play four square. I ain't trying to carry a bucket. Um, let me think. Passing papers, chalkboard duty. They had somebody, when we go to the bathroom and get out and get, you know, at the drinking fountain to get a drink of water, they have somebody that, that would stand and monitor the amount of water you could drink. So it'd be somebody drinking. And then the person would say, one, two, three. And then you had to get going. Because some of them little boys would sit there and drink all day if you let them. They was thirsty. And I ain't talking about thirsty like people are nowadays when they put naked pictures on the internet. I come to think of it, why was they monitoring it? Let the kids hydrate. Damn. Why do they do that? No wonder I don't like drinking water these days because I it, it was monitored my whole life. Mm. Oh Lord, and if you uh this is the best. This doesn't top the chalkboard, but this is pretty high. When the teacher says, Hey, Miss Crystal, can you go down to the front office and get five copies of this? You better believe it, and I'll do it with a quickness. So then you take the paper, walk down to the office. Hey there, Miss Howe needs uh, five copies of this. And you give it to them. They make five copies. You take it back and you walk up there. And when you walk in the room, you're just looking at everybody. Yes, I got to do a teacher errand. What did you do today? Pick your nose. Make one of them things that goes like this. Cootie catcher. You know what I'm talking about? I was, I was working hard as a child. Strong worth ethic, even at the age of a fifth grader. Strong worth ethic. Mm. Well, that's really taking me down memory lane. What was some of y'all's favorite jobs that you did in school? Oh, another job? Because, of course, I, you know, I grew up a long time ago. We had a computer lab that had, like, three Apple Macintosh computers that was so old-timey. There was a person who got to turn them on. All your job was to push a button. And, man, you'd do anything to push that button. Be like, let, uh, pick me. Whoa. Damn. You can really see my lipedema in my arms. Lots of jobs. That's good to give a child a job. Give them something to do instead of sitting around playing Atari and whatnot. 
Him, I made a mess. I'm disgusting. So in the comments, sound off and tell me some of your favorite school jobs. Because I won't know. I want to know if your school was better off than my school. Maybe you got a better job. Maybe you was poorer than me. Maybe you lived in a place that realized that that was child labor and they have child labor laws and you can't make children work. I would have done it anyway. I don't give a damn. Let me live at school. And then when you'd see your teacher out and about in the community, you'd be like this. She don't live. She don't live at the school? You mean to tell me she has her own home, children, and a husband? You're just supposed to be there for us, Miss Howe. And you'd feel real devastated. I didn't have these same glasses as a child. That's why I took my glasses. I took my glasses off to reenact so that you would see, you know. As a child, I didn't have these glasses. Mm. Bus Loop Burgers. Check them out here in St. Louis. Black owned business. Delicious. Fresh. That's the thing. They're fresh. They ain't got a bunch of patties sitting there. When you order it, you're going to wait 10 15 minutes because they're making it fresh. They ain't putting a, a hot, hot food on a under a heat lamp and letting it get up to, you know, ridiculous temperatures. Mmm. So, 10 out of 10 bus loop. I'll be back to see y'all. Y'all know that. Ain't no secret. Alright, y'all. Thanks for joining me. I'm gonna try to stay on a semi, uh, regular schedule here it's gonna be hard though because i don't have my own vehicle on on tour i have to um ride with you know whoever has me is driving me so oh lord well i'm gonna go do my errands y'all have a good day and keep keep subscribing for more and push that thing that looks like a bell that's what my neighbor said he said tell your followers to hit that thing that looks like a bell and then it'll say hey this crystal has a new video all right thanks for joining me maybe next time we'll learn about a different kind of food okay bye bye damn i made a mess now i gotta go out in the community looking like this Damn, that's good. Need to go to the beauty parlor. I definitely need to get waxed. I'm embarrassed to go back to that waxing place, though. That lady said she had a nerve to say. That is by far the hairiest rectum I've ever seen. I said, damn, ma'am, you could have saved that for yourself. You didn't have to say that to me. But you know what I did? I owned it. I said, you know what? You're damn right it's the hairiest rectum you've ever seen. Why don't you take a picture and put it up on your European wax center wall? Hairiest rectum. First of all, don't say rectum, ma'am. That's disgusting. Say butthole. Damn.